Hi my friends, today we create and study with the dynamic simulation this mechanism for tracing the letter D as you can see right now. This is uh, the assembly and you can see some uh, components. They are here support this one for threaded bushing for flat nuts two hand screw crank lever stettler head l lever let's create the assembly new standard millimeters IAM place support grounded at origin now you know why we place in another position this uh, all the components are made with inventor 2014 when uh, the axis were in another orientation now you see we have a home in this position this is a fixed part place crank flat nuts one two three four hand screw one two L lever one lever also one only Stedler head and threaded bushing one two three four good we start by placing uh, this uh, threaded bushing we use constraint insert we select circle and we place it right here apply another one this one comes here apply this one and the crank the other one and the lever I, I think you see how easy I rotate everything and I select faces. Why? Because I use a space mouse. You can read more by watching tutorial number 180 space mouse is the name good we place this face insert 
to this face apply and also uh, this placed here apply then we move the L lever in its position and also this placed here apply we add nuts apply apply The space mouse is used with the left hand. Apply. Then I select this face to be placed here apply and now mate simple mate for this placed here but the other position and also this to be here first solution okay now we can move this uh, four lever uh, mechanism one lever is this support one lever is fixed and the other are mobile I place an angle now, constrain angle, this 51, 51 between this face and this face, but I have to place minus. Okay, this is the start position for dynamic simulation. This is the crank. I go to the crank and I apply suppress to this because we want to have mobility. This is the motor, the engine, the crank for the movement. Now we are prepared to apply dynamic simulation. Environments, dynamic simulation, and we have to apply a force or momentum for moving this. It, if I apply uh, the run, I don't see anything no move I go to construction mode and I select this joint this joint is not here not here this is the other hand screw not this but this good I double click this joint these are, are uh, standard joints double click here and I have the possibility to select movements by degrees of freedom this uh, joint has only one degree of freedom rotation 
Yes, you see here. The position is at 51 degrees and we go to imposing motion. I activate imposed motion and I apply a constant value for rotation. I think that uh, 10 seconds for all the for a full rotation is very good. This means 360 divided by 10 seconds if uh, but I have to place 36 directly okay now I don't want to see this uh, arrows so I apply click on the name of the, of the assembly since I want to apply movement for 10 seconds I write here 10 seconds then I start the movement this is not the good direction yes I stop this I go back I go to construction mode double click here and I place minus 36 degrees okay again click on the name and movement good but we don't see anything as a result yes we have to apply trace click on trace select the moving point which can be this point this point one with movement this is not with movement I select this end yes what color I accept black okay start you see we obtain exactly the same graphic like uh, in the first picture now the system is stopped because I stopped here and it has no data I continue the movement to obtain the rest of the curve that's all yes this uh, graphic is placed on a plane of course but you can see the curve through everything you see good now comes an interesting topic what I present here is based on the existence of the components that appear in the assembly regarding this modeling you have two options one to contemplate what I do and apply my actions by creating your own components of this assembly and two try to create the assembly using the actual components you see in the tutorial 
If you want to create this assembly independently, you must own the component, that is, uh, they must be yours. A separate creations that I made for the purpose of showing practical aspects in the tutorial, you can download the components only from assets. Access to assets is done by subscribing minimum to the level journeyman membership. You see here the levels of membership. Core, journeyman, patron, professional. Excepting core, the other ones includes the previous ones. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.